life hack number six. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this intuitive message. I greatly appreciate it. Also, thank you guys so much for all your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. It is greatly appreciated. And if you require any personal services for me, you can go to my website, visionsbyjocelyn.org to book those services. So let's go ahead and see life path number six, what your month ahead is going to be like, okay? Life path number six is month ahead. Thank you guys so much for the message for life path number six. Life path number six is month ahead. I'm gonna get out all your cards first to see what the energy is going to be. <clears throat> so bear with me, you guys. Life path number six. Okay. Oh, I think something flipped over six. Okay, there. All right, life path number six. Hmm. Life path number six. Message for life path number six. Okay. All right, life path number six is you guys. Let me give you one more card. All right. All right, sixes. Okay, this is exactly what I suspected. So we have the star as your overall energy. So in the next month ahead, I do see that there is a lot of healing that needs to happen. I see also if you've been praying for someone or something to get their act together, I feel like it's going to be some type of revelation that is going to happen um, within the next month. I also feel like with this star energy as well, there's something that you've been praying over or praying about. You've been praying over someone. Um, this does definitely, it feels like a person that you've been praying over for them to get their stuff together or their act together. And I do see that your prayers are going to be answered. They may not be, you may not get the answer that you hope for, but it is going to be the answer that you need in order for you to move on, in order for you to see the true light of why the situation is happening for you. So your first overall card um, we have is this five of pentacles. So you feel like you're missing something. You feel like you may be alone in a situation. You feel like you are the only person that has to really feed for yourself. You don't feel like you have any support or love around you or people don't really understand where you're coming from. It's like you're expressing yourself. You're letting someone know how you feel but then they don't see your side of the story. You see theirs, but they don't see yours. And right now what's blocking you is this lover's energy. So it's like you got this um, in the reverse. So with the lovers being in the reverse, I do feel like there has been some type of disconnect. You and this person are not seeing eye to eye or you're not just seeing the same page. If this has something to do with a work environment or a job, I feel like with the lovers being in this particular position, that there may be something that hasn't really completely fulfilled you. I feel like you deserve, like you deserve more credit than what you're getting or more benefits than what you're getting. And it's like this particular job or this particular environment that you're in is not giving you that credit. Life path number six is if this does involve a particular person, you may have felt like this person has been like seeing other people or really don't have like the hots for you anymore. If if I can say that, I know you, I've never said that, but somebody has like their eye on you, like you, you may have been like the only person for this person. And now that you guys are not together, it's like they may be seeing other people. But I feel like life path number six, if you and this person, if it is decided that you and this person just is not going to reconnect, I do see that it is going to be some type of new message that's going to come in for you. There's going to be definitely some type of new commitment that's going to come in for you with this Hierophant energy and this Ace of Wands. 
there's going to be something new that's going to come in, like a new offer, a new opportunity. So even if this has something to do with opportunities in your life, because I feel like for life path number six is both simultaneously. It's like whatever is going on in your personal life or your love life is also what's going on in uh, this particular environment, your work environment, or just even with uh, the people that you feel like don't really support you. If you also um, like go to church or you started back going to church, like you feel like you go to church to hear the word, but you don't really go to church to feel supported. Like the your church, it's something about your church environment or the people that that's in your community where you you all believe in the same thing. Uh, they may not be supportive of your ideas. You may have said, "How is this any different?" from what I'm learning, like this is literally the same thing that I'm learning on my own, not even just in church. Like we're saying the same thing and the church members don't really understand. Like I said, your church can be anything. It could be like a mosque if you're um, if you're in another religion. Um, I am seeing like, like the Muslims. So you're, you're, your background may be Muslim or someone in your family may be Muslim. Definitely Christianity is here, but I feel like the same ideas that you've been trying to express to someone, they feel like it's something a little bit different. You may have had that conversation, take that as it resonates. But again, overall, I feel like you are going to have something brand new that is going to come in. So in the past, you have this two of sword energy. So in the past, you have been really decisive, you, um, indecisive. You have been trying to figure out what it is you want to do. So you haven't been doing anything at all. You don't want to, really want to make any moves. So I feel like you've been trusting into um, a flow of things or a pattern of things in order for you to make the right decision that you need to make in order in your life. You've been having more faith and more trust in God as well as into your own power. So with you doing that in the future, you are going to have a lot of success. So if you haven't been doing that, if you just have been trying to take care of things on your own time, and it feels like nothing has been really stable for you, or you also feel like things have not been really moving as fast as you want it to move, um, it's because you are not trusting into that divine power. You may feel like you can take care of everything on your own. And that's why things haven't really moved. So I feel like in this particular energy, you just need to give it to a higher power. Give it to God. Ask God, you know what, God, whatever is for me, allow it to be for me. And then some people may drop off. Some people may, you know, lose connection with you. Or say, you know what, this is not going to work for me anymore. So when that does happen, I feel like you do need to be grateful. Because that is just your answer to the prayers that you had. And then God is going to show that something else or someone else belongs in your life. So in your current energy, this represents you with this Knight of Cup energy. You may have a lot of water in your chart. Or just even with this Knight of Cup energy, I do feel like you have like a master number in your chart as well. But the Knight of Cups represent some type of charm, some type of dream. So again, your dreams are definitely going to come true. But I do feel like if you and this person separate or if you and this job separate from each other, if you want to look for another job, I do feel like it's definitely going to come in. Something is definitely going to catch your attention or catch your eye. You're going to be able to attract that thing in. I also feel like you're not just going to be dating just one person in the next few months. You may be going out on multiple dates. We got this three a cup energy. Um, you may go out like to a party and meet this new person there or meet these new people there. But I don't feel like you are just going to only be talking to one particular person. I feel like you're going to keep your options open. I'm going to clarify this three of cup energy because I feel like you're going to keep your options open when it comes to different love environments because you have been hurt before.
Okay, so we have the chariot energy here. So yeah, I do see that you're going to go out somewhere because when the chariot, when the three of cups come out, I just feel like that's like going out on a town. But with this energy here, we got the six and the seven of swords. So like I said, you're going to be reconnected with someone who doesn't scheme you or who doesn't bamboozle you. You see how it's kind of like dark and gloomy. I feel like life path number six um, be very careful of where you go as well in this particular month. Also, these new people that you're going to be entertaining, some of them may be like a different person, like a different body, but same energy. So make sure you're changing up your energy as well. So instead of you going to that normal everyday place that you go to to meet people, try to change up your environment. Even if you do, um, online dating um change up the websites that you're using as well because you don't want to get trapped up into that same energy that you have been in before but i feel like um i feel here i'm hearing that song caught up um i don't know if y'all know that song caught up by usher but I feel like you don't want to get caught up into certain environments. So definitely keep your options open and then be honest with these people. Like saying, you know what? I'm just looking for friends. I'm just, you know, dating around to see exactly what I want. Don't go in like all in, like I'm going to just date you or, you know, let people know what your expectations are. Yeah, I am looking for love. Yes, I am looking for a new opportunity, but I want to make sure that this new love and this opportunity best suits me. Instead of me suiting it, I want to make sure that it suits me. So your hope and your fear is that, well, your fear is that you're going to get heartbroken again. We have this five of cup energy that you're going to lose out on love again. So it's kind of like you don't really even want to date right now, but you do need to start back, like getting back out there, but you don't want to get hurt again. But I see that your hope is that, yeah, I have lost love. I have missed out on different opportunities, but I know that love is coming in for me. So your overall advice here is this eight of cups. So keep moving. Like everything that no longer serves you, leave it behind. Whether that does include this love, because I do feel, because you got a lot of cup energy here. So I do feel like it has something to do with love. But also, like I said, it's simultaneously. It has something to do with like business. Like your overall environment is pretty much the same. So the same advice that I'm giving you for love needs to be the same advice for your family. It needs to be the same advice for these job opportunities. It needs to be the same advice for your business opportunities if you are trying to be an entrepreneur. So I feel like you do need to keep going. Anything that no longer serves you, definitely leave it behind because it's going to be in your past for a reason. Everything or what you are moving towards, um, this person or this thing can't go with you. It's almost like it, it seems like this person is not ready, like their mindset isn't ready. So even if you guys clash when it comes to religious preferences or religious values, because I feel like you do clash with that, um, this person is not as open-minded as you are. So sometimes when a person is not in the same mindset or they're not open-minded as you are, when you move into like a new area in life, that closed mind, it doesn't require anybody that's closed minded. So even when you, if you're trying to like move out of state, like they may not want to move out of state as well. So just for example, it could be literal, but let's say you live in a state and you want to move cross country or you want to move to another, um, to another state. This person wants to stay in their state because they're comfortable with, with living. And that is actually a metaphor as well. So you don't want to stay in the same state of mind. You don't want to stay trapped or, you know, you want to explore more options. You want to do more things. But the person that you're in or just even your environment that you're in wants to stay stuck. So you do need to leave that thing behind. Um, you may feel all alone because you're the only person that believes that. Like, am I the only person that feel like we should just be growing up here and not expanding and not moving? And other people are saying, well, 
yeah, you are the only person that thinks that because why would you want to leave home? So I feel like you just need to keep moving forward. Um, I feel like you are going to attract some other people that's in your life that has the same vision as you, that has the same beliefs as you, and it could be a very thriving relationship for you, okay? So let's pull out an oracle. Pull out one more. Okay. So for the or for the two oracles that came out, we have compromise, and then we have not the right time. So even if you even if that was literal that you want to move out the state, make sure that you are planning properly in order for you to have this particular move in your life because we did have the chariot card at this bottom energy. Yeah, and then behind it we have the Knight of Pentacles. So I feel like you your your moves should be calculated. Your moves shouldn't be too risky. So definitely compromise on your budgeting where you want to stay so that you can make that particular move if that's literal. Then we have the situation will improve. We have peaceful resolution. And then we have if you believe. So with this, what I'm feeling here is that if you are going through a situation where it's very like tumultuous and you don't know what that that next outlook is going to be or you don't know what the solution is going to be, I feel like you're going to have a very peaceful resolution. I feel like anything that you're going through like financially as well is going to improve. But you also have to believe, you also have to put in um, more of your light-hearted energy in order for it to come into fruition. And then also, I wanted to clarify this If You Believe card, and it says let go. So let go of any limiting beliefs. Let go of anything that like stunts your growth so that you can start believing a little bit more. You may have to let go of a lot of negativity within your life too. So even if you're, it's not even just that people in your environment, but if you're actually doing something that hinders you, you may have to let that go as well. All right, so that's all I'm getting for the life path number sixes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. If you like this video, just make sure you go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Also, to see more videos like so, make sure you hit that subscribe notification bell. I love you all. I thank you again so much, and I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed day. Bye-bye.